hi there friends, it's Miss Heather and welcome back to Featherness Cottage. Today we are going to make our own candles from beeswax. Yeah, bees make honey, but they also make wax. The wax holds the honey in little tiny cells. When we take the honey out, left over is this giant amount of wax. We can take that wax and make it into a burnable candle. And that's what we're gonna do today. It smells delicious, and it also is made by bees, which to me is the most exciting part. You see, friends, long ago, we didn't have an option for light at night. Sure, we could use fire, but we didn't have electricity. So what people would do is they would use candles or they would use lanterns to, they would burn oil in those lanterns. But beeswax candles don't use any oil. It's a most beautiful ambient light that I think is just natural and beautiful. So today we are gonna learn how to make them. You can make your own birthday candles. You could also, with your family, decide that one evening you're not gonna use any electricity. And then you can have all your light be from your shining candle light. So thanks so much for joining me here today. Ooh, it's cold, let's get inside. Little candle burn so bright. Share with us your golden lights. Welcome to candle making. This activity requires some patience, and that means some waiting friends. So if you want to bring some coloring along for this one, please do so. If you want to share your picture with me, you can ask your mom or dad and send it to the email I wrote in the description. I would love to see your creation. The first part of candle making could be chopping the beeswax, but some beeswax comes pre-chopped, so you will just need to measure that. But if you get the chippy chop beeswax, you will need to use a knife and a peeler. You'll have to do this with a mom or a dad or a caregiver. Today, friends, I also have in between our making of our candles and as we're waiting for everything to melt and mesh together, I thought we could sing a song together. And that song is This Little Light of Mine. So I've got to take off my gloves here for this because warm them up, get them ready, and this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. All this love and peace, simple life, I'm gonna let it shine. All this love and peace, a simple life, I'm gonna let it shine. All this love and peace, a simple life, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Thanks so much for listening and let's get back to the candle making. So for you friends, I have set the instructions to the tune of London Bridges. Do you know that song? I just love it. Here we go. First you chippity chop the wax, beeswax from the bees. Chop the wax nice and small so it melts together. Melt the wax in a double boiler on low heat to medium heat. Prep your wicks and your molds to pour the wax safely. Pour the wax into their molds, into their molds safely. Then dip the wick into the wax, wait so patiently. Dip and wait and dip and wait, watch the wax become thick. Dip and wait and dip and wait, now you have a candle. Candles burn because the material or wax is flammable. Let's say that together, flammable. How about one more time, flammable. The wax stays lit because of the wick. Smell your candles. The smell is relaxing, calming, and good for family time, playing games by candlelight or sharing stories or having a snack. Candles are beautiful. They fill our hearts with kindness and warmth and remind
remind us of the sun. Well, friends, it's Miss Heather here signing off and Heather Ness Cottage signing off and Little Tree signing off. <laughs> I'm so glad you came to learn something from long ago. Remember, live what you love and love what you live. And you're amazing. You know, yes, you, just the way you are. Bye, friends. See you next time.